Hey guys, we are back for a brand new episode of the podcast, episode 26, and today we have a very special interview with me, Mr. Shah Nawaz. So, um, I'd like to thank Shaheen MMA Management, and I'd like, to, I'd like for you to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Please check it out. Hello guys, it's Hamad Mia from MMA Diagnosis, and today I have with me a very special guest. He's a professional mixed martial artist out of Pakistan, Mr. Shah Nawaz. How are you, brother? Hi, Hi, Muhammad. How are you? I'm doing uh, good. Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Yeah. So, uh, where are you? Where are you currently? Are you in Islamabad or? No, I'm in Portugal now. Oh, yeah, in Portugal. Yeah. I, yeah. I was gonna ask you that uh, later on, but I guess we'll start that now then. Uh, okay. So, are you living in Portugal full time now? Um, not really. Um, uh, I was on a visit to uh, the Europe, and before this coronavirus, then uh, when I reached here, so then it just work out and uh, I'm stuck here. Oh, you're stuck here? Oh my god. Yeah. So, so, so where are you right now? Are you in Lisbon? Yeah, I'm in central Lisbon, yeah. Yeah, because um, I saw online, uh, you were in the countryside, was it? Were you you were going around yeah, the countryside, yeah. right? Yeah, so how is that experience yeah. there? So how is it there in the countryside? How is it in the countryside? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's going well because uh, some of my friends are already settled in Lisbon here. Eh? So I got a good, uh, you know, company here. So oh, okay. it's going well. <laughs> so how was that then? Uh, Finding out you can't even come back now. How Pardon that? me. I go, how, how how did you feel when uh, you found out you couldn't come back? To <laughs> well, definitely difficult, and you know, but uh, now I'm, I'm feeling good here. Eh? I'm I'm climatized now here, eh? so it's good. Oh, okay, nice. And um, uh, are you are you training there or are you? Um. Really not because the gyms are closed here and uh, but like you know just share boxing and uh, sometimes for running but now Ramadan is already yeah, there yeah, so yeah. I'm just just busy with Ramadan that's all bro just focusing on the uh, on the fast yeah yeah man uh, how how long is the fast day how many hours is it it's uh, around like fifteen to sixteen hours okay similar to yeah similar to here in the UK so. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't imagine being in a position like that, but inshallah, it'll be alright. I think you'll be back mm. soon, hopefully. Hopefully, the the uh, inshallah, inshallah. And um, so, I just wanted to get started with uh, asking you. Um, uh, you're obviously a professional mixed martial artist now. Uh, how did you get started into martial arts? Um, it's a long story. Like you know, we guys are uh, like you know the pioneers of Pakistan MMA, Pisham and Sultan, and all these guys. We are like yeah. colleagues uh, since our childhood, and that uh, we start uh, from Taekwondo when we were kids. And oh, okay. uh, uh, like in 2000, back in 2000, I uh, got my black belt in Taekwondo. Wow. And um, uh, at that time, like you know, in Pakistan especially, uh, mixed mm. martial arts or any any um, style, Taekwondo, Kipishan or whatever in his time. Uh, that time, uh, there were no future people can see in it, actually. Okay. So that's why it was hard to pursue, uh, uh, you know, your uh, yeah. professionally uh, in that art. So that's why I left it in 2000, and I, I uh, 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 pursue my studies, actually. And I, back, okay. I go to uh, um, UK as well. I did my master from UK. Oh, UK? And in, uh, yeah, yeah. Where, where in, in the UK? Yeah, Central uh, London, uh, Hammersmith, Fulham. Oh, Hammersmith. I, I was living in um, Elephant Castle. I was living in London. Oh, okay. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. that, I was in Central as well. So, yeah. Okay. How is it in London? Busy, right? I love it, man. I you love it, yeah? love it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but I, I like some parts. But how did you find the underground? The yeah, team? it's it's quite good, man. It's quite good. cramped, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. So what were you studying in? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I've done my business uh, and, and administration MBA. Oh, okay. And then yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. Um, and then yeah, 2015, I I, I fly back. I had done my I complete my studies and everything. And when I I back to Islamabad, I see like uh, Sultan Atisham, you know, they they, yeah. they give a very good best to the MMA of uh, Pakistan, and I was amazed and shocked. Like these guys <laughs> are really, you know, on some point, like you know. They give uh, their whole life for this uh, career, and I just start with them. That's all. Like in four years, like I'm in a good position, and I, I fought some fights. I, Alhamdulillah, won almost uh, them. Just um, I lost one fight, yeah. and um, it's going pretty good now. Yeah. Oh, okay, and uh, I just want to say your record is 
it says on Sure Dog on these two and all, but I don't know. What's your official? No, record? no, no. Don't, they, 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 I don't know why, how and who you upload know, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just to, it's, 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 even they mention it there, it's against India, I fought, but I never fought against India up till now. So it's just That's... one, we, uh, uh, one uh, zero one actually, a uh, pro and uh, amateur uh, four zero. Oh okay okay so it was just um so you fought uh is it Afgan Afghanistani opponent you fought in yeah I, I twice fight uh, fight in Afghanistan uh, twice yeah, yeah, fight yeah. many guys actually uh, I just lost one uh, yeah I mean there were some problems actually with my shoulders and anyhow no excuses loss is lost. <laughs> Well, you had a uh, so you had a shoulder injury, you think, uh, before that yeah, fight? Yeah, uh, yeah, like in uh, in our uh, training camp, uh, you know, uh, you I, I think so, you know, Najam Khan, the brave Khan. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. The only yeah. Partner, he's the only partner in the gym because we both guys are heavyweight. Uh, oh, so, he was by your side. Uh, yeah. Like like one week before, or four days before we um, uh, fight uh, during wrestling uh, uh, session, I I just uh, 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 yeah. injury in my left shoulder and uh, my coaches you know they said you need to we need to cancel this fight and wow. i said no man i, I want i'm gonna fight and i just you know um, get stronger and then i just got that fight and unfortunately it ended up uh, with the loss yeah you you can actually tell during that fight though because it looked um do you think that's why he was because uh, he got a few take turns on you and uh, i feel like that might have been one of the reasons because in your other fights you didn't get taken down that like it wasn't that easy to take you down, so it was a bit. I was a bit. Uh, it felt a bit weird watching that because I watched a few of your other fights before that, and you looked quite yeah. comfortable with uh, with your takedown defense. So yeah, th that yeah. Was, yeah, I could definitely see that having a ha having a factor within your fight, your last fight. Um, yeah. So you know your t uh, taekwondo background. So how has yeah. that how has that helped in your style in MMA? Would you say like um, does that make you unorthodox yeah. or? Yeah, exactly. Uh, taekwondo, you know, uh, like in my kicks and uh, especially in footwork, it helped me a lot. Mm. Uh, though I, I never boxed in my life before uh, okay. joining uh, MMA, so it was a bit hard for me to cope with the uh, box and kick. Yeah. So uh, that was a hard time for the first one and a half year or one year. But uh, yeah. now it's it's going well because, you know, the good coaches, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, working yeah. off and good coaches. So uh, it really helped me a lot actually because, you know, in back of your head, you know how to fight. Actually, you get experience of ring. Actually, uh, so that that really matters to you when you go to the cage and you are facing some opponents. Uh, compared to the, compared to the guys who are really you know new to the fighting, it's very hard for them. But yeah. I fought for a national championship uh, in uh, back 1998. I got gold medal in uh, wow. all Pakistan Kaidiazam gold uh, championship. So I fought a lot of time before MMA fights. So it's it, and wow. uh, like uh, I am also famous on the streets as well. <laughs> like in my childhood, now not now. Yeah. yeah. So that's why it, 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 it's not like difficult for me to uh, face some guys on the cage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you're like, you're like uh, Kimbo Slice in Pakistan. I mean, no, yeah, you can say like, <laughs> my, my, my friends, my colleagues, they know me in my area, and uh, they 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 saw me. Uh, how I'm fighting on the street and how I'm fighting in the cage actually, but still I I, I, I recommend street fights in the, in the cage because in the cage there is still one guy standing next yeah, to you yeah. to stop you at any time. So yeah, <laughs> and uh, I've noticed um, quite a few fighters have a taekwondo and wushu kind of background. Are these martial arts really popular in Pakistan? Would you say? Yes. Or, yes. So a lot of people. Right. Are, uh, yes. yes. The, the, these are uh, um, popular uh, in Pakistan, especially Taekwondo. In, okay. uh, in northern areas of uh, Pakistan, Taekwondo, mm. because uh, our all uh, you know, legendary uh, martial artists are Taekwondo black belts, like Nasir, uh, Nasir Ustad, and uh, many, many more. But we mostly, uh, people in northern area, um, you know, belong to Nasir Ustad because he's the only black belt uh, at that time when he was uh, coaching us. And in Punjab side, yeah. uh, Wushu and um, Kyukishen is uh, famous, yeah. Taekwondo as well, but mostly I see Kyukishen because Kyukishen is uh, in the national games uh, and uh, most of the guys are practicing it. Oh, okay. And um, and uh, how would you how would you describe your style of fighting? Do you like standing up? Do you like standing up now, or do you like taking to the ground, or do you like mixing it? 
Um, when I start fighting in uh, like I love to take guy on the ground because I'm blue mm. jiu jitsu and I okay. twice uh, win gold medal in uh, PGC Pakistan. Oh, okay, yeah, got me. Uh, yeah, so that's why you know it gives me an edge on the ground um, against any opponent. Uh, so that's why uh, my coach said we we need you on the stand up as well. So that's mm. why we work hard on the stand up, and now mm. uh, I'm, I'm very confident with my boxing, and uh, my, I put a lot of hard work in it. So inshallah, in coming points, I will I will I will mix and match. Inshallah, I can't wait to see that. So. Inshallah, we'll yeah. see that after this lockdown, hopefully. Uh, Inshallah. You, so you're currently training under Fight Fortress Islamabad. So uh, the coaches where you you got your childhood friends, was it? You yeah. You with yeah. them, yeah, yeah. And they're one of the top teams, uh, MMA teams in Pakistan. Okay. So how has, yeah. uh, you know, these kind of coaches influenced, you know, uh, your career in a way? Kind of helped you in your career? But to be very honest, you know, apart from my friends, <coughs> when I step into the gym, there are no more friends, trust me. Yeah. There, are no, there are no more <laughs> my friends. They are only coaches and I respect them uh, with my heart. And they also treat me like, you know, a good student. They teach me whatever in their knowledge, best in their knowledge. And uh, in all over Pakistan, I'm like, I travel Lahore, I travel Karachi, uh, I Baldistan, and I see gyms, they're coaches. I mean, uh, everyone is good on their circle. But... Uh, okay. Compared to the, these legendary guys, uh, yeah, mm. they have a lot of knowledge because uh, they put uh, you know their whole lives into it. Yeah. And um, in, in in a world level, even Ahtisham Karim especially, uh, he he this guy is really intelligent. He has a lot of knowledge regarding MMA, defense, uh, in any category you can pick up. Uh, so yeah, and that's why the TFF is the top team in Pakistan actually. These guys are. Uh, masters and uh, you know the educated guys and uh, they know how to deal with it actually in the society yeah I've, I've noticed that you, a lot of guys in um, like that are doing well in MMA in Pakistan are from Team Fight Fortress so yeah I could, yeah it definitely looks like uh, argue, arguably the top team in uh, Pakistan uh, yeah. so um, are you are you uh, training full-time or do you need to like um, work on the side or is it do you know um, yeah. yeah so that's the question good question actually yeah, yeah, yeah. because uh, I, i'm responsible for my family and yeah, I'm yeah, married. Yeah. I, I got a kid and my parents my sisters and siblings yeah. so uh, at the start like uh, i got some training from uk and um, when i i settled in Islamabad, like you know then i need to earn as well with this uh, skill fighting so that's why uh, the, the team five quarters uh, they give me a partnership in um, uh, this uh, uh, all uh, merchandising business. So oh, okay. I am uh, I, I was dealing with uh, from Sialco to uh, uh, different gyms, uh, gloves, mm -hmm. uh, all all all, all the, like accessories of MMA, and I have a, a website as well, now, Alhamdulillah, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm going good with uh, this business, yeah. Yeah, and uh, so how are you balancing the two then, running your own kind of business and then training? Is it a bit, a bit tricky? Like uh, yeah, yeah, and I, I, I'm a good personal trainer as well. So oh, I, okay. If, if, like I was, I was earning like more than um, uh, you know um, one leg, one point five actually. So only from personal training and uh, so yeah. So like uh, you know, I was living in TFF. The, the, the point was this, like, wow. I was living inside wow, TFF for the last three, hour, three years. Yeah, man. But, uh, you, you know, if uh, someone uh, doesn't get motivation from hearing that, man, I don't know what else will motivate them. Man, cause <laughs> that, that, that's why you call motivation, man, inspirational. Yeah. So, in, in, in TFF, there are a few guys, you know, like, uh, I hope so you will, you will get their story one day. Yeah, uh, I know them very personally because uh, we are living together from last two, three years. These guys are, you know, literally from one from Peshawar, one from somewhere else. But yeah. they they just want to be a fighter, so they just you know bring their bag and stand up uh, wow. outside the gate. Say we want to be a fighter. That's all. Uh, I will give you an example of Ayub Khan. I will give you an example of Heather Sati. Okay. So uh, and and we be together living inside the gym on the mats. We were training at the daytime and we were sleeping at the night time on the same mats. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, man. That, that's what that's why it takes, isn't it? That's why that's why people don't realize like the sacrifices that a lot of you know you fighters make for the people yes. to watch uh, you know entertaining fights and uh, what you like do for the sport. So, uh, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, it's kind of crazy that people think that you like just train full time and you just fight and uh, everyone's making uh, that big money. So, but it's it's not like that, right? A lot of only it's only a small percentage, right? And then everyone else yeah. kind of has to work and uh, balance everything. So yes. uh, yeah, and uh, um, I just noted uh, you, um, you said you're a personal trainer. Yeah, uh, you're a big guy. So you're, are you like the, are you the biggest guy in the gym? Would you say you? Um, yeah, I, I'm at like 95 kg now. Oh, and, okay. Uh, and yeah, I'm the biggest guy in the gym, and uh, 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 Brev Khan, uh, Najim Khan, he's 90, 85, 88, really fluctuating up and down. Okay. But we both guys are, you know, the heavyweight guys in the gym. Yeah. Yeah, so so it's tough finding uh, sparring partners, is it? So he's exactly. the only one. As far as Najim Khan is there, I don't need any other partner. Oh, okay. <laughs> and yeah. uh, do you still do you still spar with the little guys just to for speed and uh, to yeah, work on technique? I do. Oh, okay, okay. I do, I do. Uh, like we have uh, Heather Farman, we have uh, uh, Lumi Karim, and yeah, we yeah. have uh, Zia Mashwani, a very good striker. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, yeah, the moment I get a chance, I I, I spar with anyone. So it's going um, yeah. And uh, uh, so uh, going back to being a person, uh, uh, so you, you look like you lift a lot of weights. What advice? What advice would you give people <laughs> to gain uh, muscle and to get bigger, like yourself? Basic, basically, Mohamed Bey, uh, the reason I am big and uh, like, you know, the, when I left Taekwondo in 2000, I get motivated with bodybuilders. Like, oh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. when I I, I, I I went to my college life, you know, still life in Punjab, Islamabad, uh, okay. I, I joined the gym and I working hard on gym with my university and I started getting bigger, actually. <laughs> I was skinny and I was black, but it's yeah. like wonder, trust me, I was very skinny. But later on, like in 2008, 2009, I was like bulky, a heavy guy, <laughs> and everyone was, you know, wow, wow, and muscles and all that. But when I went to Dubai and went to the London, so like I totally, yeah. you know, in 10, 12 years, I, I, I get into the, this bodybuilding and stuff. And went back to the Islamabad, my coaches again said, no, man, we don't need you, these big muscles. <laughs> so they just sharpen it and just put me back into the shape. So how much, how much, how, how much were you weighing when you were actually lifting full time? Were you even heavier? Uh, I lift very heavy, yeah. I lift like 200, uh, yeah, 210, 220 deadlift, uh, 200 bench press, and uh, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so uh, if right now, what's your kind of uh, regime now then? compared to like before so uh, how is it like uh, with training and uh, so you're doing strength and conditioning and then how are you balancing everything the MMA training how is it structured uh, yeah I do uh, some circuit training I run every day uh, like uh, the, the, all uh, my training especially uh, the training was uh, uh, under a champ coach so he okay. every week you know he just uh, coming to me and he's looking at uh, the stuff what I'm doing and how I'm doing so that's why uh, like um, I'm in good shape now I, I don't feel I'm heavy trust me mm. you know, on my legs when I, I start kicking uh, mm. like in a 90 kg guy kicking taekwondo kicks it's very yeah. hard but I don't feel it trust me I can spin and um, I can I, I, I can jump I can you know good footwork with the speed so yeah I'm a bit confident with it so you said uh, uh, you said that boxing was an area that you were struggling on. So how how are you come how are you come uh, like working on that? Are you um, so when you're sparring? Are you kind of uh, learning how to do the kind of infighting when you're close up and you're? Is that where the uh, area? Uh, like the close uh, close up fighting is good, but the, the, there was a problem with my uh, like you know uh, extending my hands, especially uh, you know. Okay. I have a good reach, like a uh, good reach, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I was not using it. That mm. was uh, the complaint uh, from my coaches. Yeah. Uh, but now, like uh, after a lot of share of boxing, trust me, guys out there who is uh, facing the same problem, just do the share of boxing. Trust me, from last like uh, mm. one year, I'm doing a lot of share of boxing, 
and now I can feel I am extending it, and uh, I can I can improve it in the ring. Yeah, I know. I noticed that in your last fight, the footwork was a lot better. Like um, your few other fights, you were more side. You had a more kind of a side stance. So more of yeah. that taekwondo, and yeah, then it is taekwondo, yeah. yeah, yeah, and then and then I saw your recent fight. It looked a lot more improved from yeah. even back then. So yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely hopefully to see that improvement in the next fight. Um, no, no, definitely, man. Inshallah, I'm trying to get fight in Europe now. And oh, okay. I'm looking for some promotions here. And if I get a chance to stay here for a few fights, I will stay and I will many things. But I definitely I will take some fights here. Yeah, so uh, if you are going to take some, are you breaking any kind of news? What pro any promotions you're looking for? You yeah, inshallah, I'm, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. But because of this, you know, uh, pandemic, we all are stuck and everything is, you know, down. Uh, the moment we uh, the things are going to open, um, for sure, there will be good news for Park MMA. Yeah, I mean, they've got um, ACB, Cage Warriors, a few uh, promotions here. So it'd be yeah. quite big to get Pakistani on there. It'd be actually be pretty good. It'd be quite fun to watch. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, so I want to ask you, how did you get the name, uh, nickname, the Northman? <laughs> yeah, then about the story actually. Uh, I, I wasn't aware of these nicknames, you know, in the UFC and uh, and uh, the fighters, uh, you know, got such names. And yeah. then uh, it comes, it comes to the three zero in fighting alliance in Pakistan when I was like fighting yeah. and winning every time and in first round I was winning they said we need a nickname for you man <laughs> and I said uh, what kind of a nickname and then uh, uh, a few of, uh, uh, names were recommended by my coaches and a few of names were recommended by my friends then I, at that time I was like uh, watching Vikings or uh, maybe some other series <laughs> <laughs> season so I thought, man, I am I belong to the northern areas of Pakistan, and there is no such representation in sports from the north. So let's get it to the north, man. And I said, <laughs> I want to north. I want to north, man. I want to represent my northern areas. And I said, and the northern area people are, uh, you know, strong people. Yeah. So I'm strong. I'm heavy. It suits me. So they said, okay, let's go. Go for it. I mean, it's, it's a fitting nickname, right? And um, what was the worst nickname that they gave you? Did you give it a, a bad one? I don't remember exactly. Yeah, there were a few names, uh, uh, but I don't remember exactly right now. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you're currently you're you're 33 years old right now. So some people consider that older in the sport, but you're really technically you're young in the sport in the sense that of competing wise, you haven't really taken a lot of damage or anything. Yeah. How long do you yeah. see yourself competing for? Till 40s, till my 40s. Oh, okay. So in, B, BJJ definitely I can pursue for my whole life. Uh, BJJ. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, but uh, but fighting inside the cage, uh, I will pursue it till my 40s. Mm. Uh, you you yeah. just said uh, BJJ uh, till till the end, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, what, what are you a, are you are you still a blue belt right now, or is it? Yeah, blue belt. Yeah, I'm blue belt. Uh, you, you looking to compete in worlds or? In the future, are you looking to compete in the world world championships? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 that's why you know I'm 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 changing my plans now while living in Portugal. Uh, the IBJJF championship is in you know in Portugal. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So so that that attracts me a lot, and you now I'm planning to you know just uh, stay here for some years. Might be I'm not sure, but let's see. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully, that'll be interesting. And yeah. um, what other like hobbies and interests do you have besides MMA? Man, I'm I'm very busy guy. All the hobbies, uh, you know, <laughs> I, uh, like uh, movies, uh, and yeah. uh, most of the time, you know, just working out with the MMA and other hobbies, uh, like just movies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's quite difficult because obviously your personal training. Yeah, and you got the yeah personal training and uh, just reading articles regarding fitness and uh, yeah, th this is the whole life now. I mean. All right, and um, uh, before we end it, I just want to ask you uh, just a few kind of uh, questions beforehand. So they're just more light questions yeah. now. So uh, okay. what what's your favorite uh, striking technique? Striking, striking technique. You mean like uh, punches, combos? Uh, just like one move. Which one do you like the most? Like, 
any can be any uh, specific. Uh, the, 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 the yeah, because you know when when I when uh, before getting into the MMA, yeah. I don't know about the power of jab actually. Uh, we we only believe yeah. on the cross because we see we, we know that there is only one power and that's in your right hand. And I always use my right hands on the streets and on and anywhere if I got yeah, yeah. a chance. But now, uh, like when I'm start using jab, like it's it's got a hell of power and it's got a lot of edge for you know reaching the your opponent. So um, yeah, jab. I love jab actually. It it sounds simple, but it's actually true. Jab is probably one of the underutilized yeah. um, techniques in MMA as well. So you see, you, you are right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's a, that's a, that was an interesting one. I didn't expect that one. I thought you might say a wheel kick or a flying <laughs> kick. No, it's like no, no, no. I told you from the last two three years, I went to the boxing, and now my muscle memories are you know just More. changing from kicks to the boxing. Okay. So the combination is now the kicks are there definitely. I yeah, can, yeah. You know, that's always kick gonna anytime. be good. Yeah. So, and uh, favorite submission. RNC man, I love it. I Ray naked two, two guys in RNC, yeah. So you like taking the choke. back and then, yeah, I've seen that in a couple of your fights. So you yeah. take the back and then get the choke. Um, so I'm going to ask, I'm going to give you two options. I want you to pick which one you prefer. So, okay. so, uh, Ras Malai or Gulab Jamun? Gulab Jamun. All right. Uh, Chawal or Roti? Roti. Okay. Weights or cardio? <laughs> Weights, man. Uh, <laughs> boxing or Taekwondo? Both, actually, but uh, now boxing. Okay. And uh, wrestling or Jiu Jitsu? Jiu Jitsu. Jiu Jitsu. And uh, okay. Uh, do, do, uh, Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson? Muhammad Ali, man. Muhammad Ali. All right. Yeah. And. Uh, I'm trying to think of an, one more before we end it. Okay. Uh, okay. Portugal or UK? UK, man. UK, yeah, come on, man. UK, yeah. London. UK, yeah, man. London. Uh, man. So, uh, uh, is there any uh, social media you like to plug in and any sponsors or anyone you like to shout out before we. No, end? that's fine. I don't have any problem with anything. No, I'm saying, is there anyone you want to uh, shout out? Any sponsors or anyone? Oh, just, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, to Team Hardcore first. Okay. Best fishes. And uh, I miss my team. And, okay. Uh, it's um, how it's uh, I will, yeah, I'll make you proud one day, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. And uh, is there any social media that you have, like Facebook or anything that you like to tell people so where they can follow you? Uh, yeah, it's my page, uh, the, the the Northman Nawaz, Shah okay. Northman Nawaz is my uh, my page, okay. and uh, one more thing, I just uh, two days ago I got a good uh, hashtag uh, MMA Pakistan, and and okay. I started working on it actually. So in, on Insta, uh, you, you guys can follow me. Um, I'm I'm working okay. on it, and uh, in future I I'm 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 gonna make it very big, inshallah. Okay, is it MMA Pakistan? MMA Pakistan, yeah. right. MMA Pakistan. So guys, MMA Pakistan, yeah. And uh, I just like to say before we end it as well, um, it, was, it was an honor to have you on. Um, you know, you're, you hopefully you make a big impact in the MMA scene for Pakistan. Inshallah, we'll see you international. Hopefully, maybe in a Brave One or even a European promotion like Cage Warriors. Inshallah, 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 inshallah. And I uh, hope you uh, are able to come back to Islamabad, inshallah, soon. So hopefully, when this lockdown is over. Yeah, if we came to Islamabad, we will meet there. If I come to the UK, definitely I will contact and uh, we will just, you know. Uh, it's, it's, great, it's great talking to you, brother. Allah, uh, Allah Hafiz. Thank you, brother. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Yeah, before we end it, I'd like to thank Shaheen MA Management and Mr. Sean Nawaz for uh, doing this interview. Uh, if you like to see more of these kind of videos, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Peace.